Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Hunter Elliott here, RangeHot.com. Hope y'all are doing well. Got a real good start to your new year. This evening I am finalizing my review on the Barnes Precision Machine AR pistol. Those of keen eye will notice there is a 9mm Glock magazine sticking out the bottom of this crazy thing. And what does that mean to us? Well, that means this is a 9mm AR pistol. You notice the bolt is locked to the rear and that magazine's empty, so this, this pistol's empty, safe to talk about. We're 500 rounds plus into the review. So far, no problem. Andrew has been, Andrew with Barnes Precision Machine, he's the CEO, he's a buddy of mine. He's been in the AR pistol market for a little while. He started out doing pistol caliber carbines, and now he's doing pistol caliber pistols in the AR style, this being the CQB Mo AR pistol. Now, I've got another video of him where he talks about a lot of the details of this. Uh, a lot of the R&D that kind of brought this pistol into fruition. It's got a lot of good details in that that I'm not going to re-go over. However, as y'all know, there's always a written article on rangehot.com. Within that article, I usually I always embed these videos. That video will also be embedded in the written article as well as a link to it at the end of this one. So I would, I would suggest going and checking that out if you're still curious, checking out the written article, that sort of thing. Here on the top, it's got a set of Magpul flip-up sights, pretty standard, decent sights. A2 style birdcage flash hider. Now something I want to point out, there's nothing wrong with that, but something I want to point out, the nine millimeter AR barrels have a, may probably will have a different thread than your nine millimeter pistol barrel. And I learned this when I took this birdcage off and I went to thread one of my half by 28 nine millimeter pistol cans on this with a fixed barrel adapter and it didn't go. If I'm not mistaken, this is half by 26. So if you're, and, and that's that's AR nine millimeter barrel. So if you're in the market for a nine millimeter AR pistol or pistol caliber carbine, just find out exactly what the thread pitch is on the, on the muzzle. So that way you'll know you got a fixed barrel adapter that'll jive with your can. Now coming down here, you can see that this is a Stern Defense magazine adapter. So all of Andrew's lowers are multi-caliber. So what he's done to facilitate that is using his Stern Defense magazine adapter that allows you to run these Glock mags. Now throughout the review, we use the 31 round stick mag and then the 17 round mag for the Glock 17. They ran fine. I will tell you the Glock 26 mag is a little too short. It will not lock in. I believe the Glock 19 mag will run with this as well. However, we didn't use any 19 mags. So, but the 17 and the 31 rounders, zero problems, no malfunctions, no problems. Where your magazine release would traditionally be is where they mount the stern defense, then they locate the magazine release, you know, about two inches lower. It's a little different, it's a little weird, it's a push in. However, after a handful of mags, you run the gun, it's pretty intuitive. It didn't cause any kind of fumbling or anything. You, you pick right, right up on it, no problem. Got a Magpul Mo pistol grip here. Trigger on this pistol broke right around six pounds, which is what I would want. You know, uh, any kind of anything I was going to be considered for duty or self defense, home defense, I would want at least a six, six and a half pound trigger. Now, you may look at this, this pistol brace here and realize it looks a little different from what you're seeing. This is actually a BPM pistol brace machined out of aluminum, and it is, it is user adjustable in so much as there is a set screw here that you can loosen and adjust it but it is not readily adjustable on the fly so this still qualifies as a pistol brace the upper and lower are machined from 7075 t6 aircraft grade aluminum and they are hard anodized to mil spec type 3 you can see this particular one is an fde also makes it in black um, Bars Precision is kind of a, a big custom shop, so if you're looking for something like this and you wanted a specific color, or you can see this has got some some different uh, nickel accents, you could just kind of call them up or send them an email and be like, hey, I want to do this and this and this, and more than likely they can make it happen for you at a cost. You know how that goes. So overall length is 25 inches. The weight comes in at 6.5 pounds unloaded. You're going to see the video, you're going to see a lot of people shooting this, you're going to see everybody shouldering it. Before everybody freaks out, because you know they said a little while ago the ATF said you can no longer shoulder an AR pistol. Well, before I did anything, when I got this in, I called my ATF agent and I said, hey look, I got this AR pistol in 
where are we at with shouldering it? And I learned that uh, I think it was a Texas judge had blocked that law from just vaporizing into fruition. So at the time of this video, you're still good legally to shoulder an AR pistol. Now, I know a lot of folks are going to say, well, I don't care what they say. I'm going to do it anyway. And I hear you. However, I'm online. I'm on YouTube. I got video of people doing this. So I'm going to obey the law. And I want to put that out there at the time shouldering this is not a problem accuracy wise we did shoot it out at 25 yards and it was grouping about two and a half inches three shots from a rest i would see this doing really well as home defense self-defense you can see here i do have a, a really nice rail system here free float and there is even though it's a shorty i still got some end lock on the bottom and support and starboard and then along the top i've got this entire length of picatinny rail so even though it's kind of a small a little compact unit you still got plenty of area to attach lights, lasers, what have you, ever how you wanted to see yourself outfitting this for whatever you decide it's going to be. Home defense, self-defense, truck gun, that sort of thing. Now understand the base model of this MSRP is like 1180. This one is a little nicer we talked about with these nickel accents, but you could kind of just start there and build up or down or kind of where you want depending on what you're looking for. Now. You're probably going to say, well, you know, $1,100, $1,180, that's a lot of money for an AR pistol, but it really isn't. Now, you know, I've been, I've been reviewing BPM stuff for a long time, a lot of his pistol caliber carbines, ARs, and uh, Andrew puts out some really top quality stuff. You know, his, his line of rifles and now AR pistols are, are I'm going to say exemplary. They really are. They're a really nice fit. They're built right here in America. And here's the thing, all of Andrew's steel and aluminum that he sources to machine is all American made steel. Now, he's a manufacturer, and when I say manufacturer, you go to his daggum shop, and he's got a you know 30,000 square foot machine shop full of CNC machines and Swiss lays. He's not some cat ordering this stuff from Brownells and putting it together in his garage. He's actually machining these parts and assembling them. So he's got a really tight control over the quality that he's producing. And I feel like that's showcased in a lot of his product. Let's get to, you know, probably one of the questions is, well, you know, are they gonna go back to, you can't shoulder it, you gotta rest it as an SBR. This is all conjecture, but I don't think so. I don't think there's, I don't think they're gonna be able to make that, you, you have to register your AR pistol as an SBR. I don't think they can make that stick. As you can see, they tried, it didn't work. Are they gonna try again? I mean, maybe, but I feel like there's still enough judges in the land that's got enough sense to know that laws can't just be made up and wrote down. It's, it's actually gotta go in front of committees and been voted on and passed and signed. Yeah. So I don't see that happening, but now that's my opinion. I didn't ever register any of my AR pistols. I hope y'all didn't either. And I feel like that the AR pistol's here to stay. And I feel like if you're looking for an AR pistol, you know, in 5.56, 300 black, 9 millimeter now, uh, BPM, Barnes Precision Machine, is certainly a really good option. I would encourage you to go check those folks out, see what they got. You know, talk to Andrew. You call down there, you're probably going to get him on the horn, and uh, you got questions or whatever. It's really nice where you can call a, a manufacturer up and get either the CEO or the floor foreman there right on the phone and can talk to them customize it ever how you want that sort of thing but i'm kind of rambling my apologies so that's about all i got as i said earlier in the beginning of the video remember there's going to be a written article on rainchop.com that i'm going to link to in the description below as well as a second video with andrew that i did that i will link to in the description below as well as in the article so go check all that stuff out it's a lot of good information i feel like that uh, there's a lot of really good uses for something like this Oh, and one other thing that I probably should point out, um, Andrew marks all of his lowers multi-caliber. So if you buy, let's say you buy this 9mm AR pistol and you decide you want a 5.56 five, pistol, well, you can take this Stern Defense magazine adapter out and you can just buy a 5.56 five, upper from him or whomever and, and pin it right to this and now it's going to accept your standard AR mags and run it through that 5.56 or 300 black upper. Anyway, alright y'all, that's all I got. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other. Look forward to seeing you at the range.